guys, welcome to Chest Lumper Outdoors. If you've never been here before, my name is Trent and I appreciate you coming to watch this video. If you have been here before, well I appreciate you coming back. It's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded and to be honest I just kind of needed to take a couple weeks to myself, take care of myself and, and do some me things. So I got that out of the way and now I'm out squirrel hunting. Since I am out squirrel hunting I thought I'd take an opportunity to talk to you about my squirrel call. And it's a Primo Squirrel Buster. They're like 15 bucks. I'll have a description or a link in the description below if you want to pick one up for yourself. I think it'll last you a lifetime if you don't lose it. So it's not like it's a replacing it all the time deal. Now I use three basic calls with this thing. It's capable of making, I think, five sounds. I use three because three are all I really know how to make. I use a bark and I hold my call like this because it's easiest for me to work it. But I bark. <laughs> And then I bark in combination with what I call a speed bark, but I'm not really sure what it's called. <laughs> and then I chatter. Now, the bark and the speed bark tend to work really well for me here in Illinois, like end of December through January. I found out that's the squirrel's rutting period and if you catch it right you can do that bark and just sit in the same place and call squirrels in and it's so much fun to have them come blowing in on you the chatter i use also during that squirrel rutting period but i use it a lot throughout the rest of the year also and my experience with the chatter is it's more of a curiosity thing so the squirrels don't necessarily come blowing in like they do with that bark when they're in the rut i guess that's really what it's called but when they're when they're mating um, they kind of peek their heads out of hides and maybe sneak around a little bit. It, what it really does for me is it gives me the opportunity to make a shot I might not have. Or if I'm sitting and I'm not seeing anything, I hit that chatter and sometimes it'll move and I'll catch that movement. So those are the ways. I thought I heard a squirrel. Those are the ways I utilize the call the most and they've always worked really well for me. Um, it's mid-December. It's chilly and overcast. I honestly expected to do better than I did today. I didn't even see a squirrel, so it's just how it is sometimes, though. It's hunting. It's not, you know, I'm not going and shooting high fence squirrel. <laughs> the thought of that even cracks me up. But, you know, it's just hunting. Public land hunting, and I know this area does get some pressure, so I just enjoy being out. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you have any more questions about squirrel calls, squirrel hunting, or anything like that, feel free to drop them in the comments. I love interacting with you guys. And don't forget, if you want to pick up a squirrel call to try out for yourself, there'll be a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. If you purchase, I get a small commission. It costs you absolutely nothing extra, but it does really help support the channel. I think that covers it, guys. I, uh, just this one's short and sweet. You know, you don't have to listen to me babble. So I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.